So the one in Australia that got released is called COVID Safe. It got released a couple of days ago. There's a lot of people that are worried about the privacy of it. Having the government be able to track you scares them. Um, to jump to the end part, um, I do recommend it. I do think it's a good idea. I have installed it on my phone myself. Now, this isn't a generic recommendation for all COVID tracking apps around the world. I've looked into specifically COVID Safe in Australia. Um, COVID Safe in Australia looks like it's been implemented with privacy in mind. It only stores the data on your phone for 21 days. It only sends data to the government or to anywhere off your phone if you actually have tested positive uh, for COVID-19. Um, then it'll actually want you to send the data. If you haven't, it'll never send it. It'll get deleted. It doesn't leave. It doesn't go anywhere. Um, it's stored on the phone in a secure way. At least it's been confirmed for Android, where uh, even though the software is not open source, you can sort of um, decrypt a software application with Android and see the source code anyway. And I watched a, a pretty interesting deep dive review of the source code yesterday, and they're storing all of the data in a secure way. They confirm they're not sending anything they shouldn't. They're not using your GPS, they're only using Bluetooth. So it doesn't even know where you were. It only knows if you've been in contact with someone else. It doesn't know who that person is. It only has a secure ID for the device that you're in contact with, basically to alert you if any of those IDs that you have stored of people that you're in contact with uh, end up testing positive, it will let you know that. It won't even tell you who, it'll just let you know that you have and what sort of time period ago. Um, everything that uh, the government sort of stated the app was doing, at least on the Android version of the app, was verified by looking through the source code. Um, it all seems good. Now, they couldn't verify what happens at the server side because they were only looking at the, the software on the device, but every indication was right. Um, there was a privacy impact assessment done of the app, and the agency's response to it has been very good. They did say they will open the source the app in future, although that hasn't happened yet. And there's also legislation to come in that's going to provide extra protection to restrict the government from doing anything with this data, although they've already uh, made very strong public claims that this data will not be available for any other purpose. So um, I'm not generally a fan of how governments implement software and IT projects. And I was surprised to see them do such a good job of this, but it's been under a lot of scrutiny a lot of scrutiny from experts in the IT security space, particularly in Australia, and I haven't seen any that have come out with anything negative to say about it. Uh, so far, it's all positive, and what I've seen of it is. And I think that like one other point to keep in mind for this COVID Safe app is that they already do what this app does. If you test positive for COVID-19 right now, they give you a big form to fill out with a whole bunch of information, and um, they're storing that somewhere and we have no idea how or what they do with it. With the app, there's actually more transparency as to what's going on and less personal information being used with it. So already they're doing things like this. They're already storing your information. They're already recording it. They're already sharing it. And if anything, I feel like the app makes it better. So if you're to assume uh, or if you're to look at it by way of, you know, do you have better privacy with or without the app, I think is more relevant than is the app completely secure, completely private even though all, all signs show that it is but i would say that your privacy is better with the app and you get two significant advantages you know that if you do test positive that people you've been in contact with will be notified which is important you don't want them going to visit elderly relatives and things like that if they've been in contact with you and you're the catalyst for this Likewise, if you've encountered anyone that's tested positive for it, uh, I believe you would want to know about that too. So I think the upsides for an app like this are big. I think it's been implemented well, and I'm recommending that um, people do install.